You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Now stepping into 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Yeah. Fifteen minutes of fame for nuts and chill. We got this coffee is brown. To you by <laughs> Shout out to Jazz. <laughs> the Shout out to Jazz and the thought juice. We're missing hashtag. you over here. We missing you over here. Talk to the town. Coffee brown. First lady of the Dino. First lady of the Mafia. First lady of the Riot. Y'all already know how the fuck we come in. We have verbal war zone. Jamaica queen. Yes. Collateral yeah. damage too. Tell me. Talk to me. How was it? How was it? <laughs> it was a very interesting battle. You know, I got out my rounds. I did everything I was supposed to do. I'm very proud of my product. Aside from the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? But out of being a good sport, we let it rock. Like, you know what I'm saying? We made sure we had a complete product for everybody. So Definitely. So what happened in there? How did you feel? Um, so basically, I guess Bonnie had wrote to the wrong beat. Because when you come to Verbal War Zone, you pick a beat, your opponent picks a beat, and the league picks a beat. I guess the beat that the league picked, she was right into the wrong beat or something. Okay. Which is not my problem, but uh, I guess she rapped to the wrong beat, so she couldn't catch the beat, so she fucked up that rail like early. We got through the other beats, and then she talked to a chosen to try to wrap her around to the beat that she had originally wrote to. And originally, I was just like, no, fuck that. But like, it made the battle drag out so long. Like, the people was waiting, it was ruining the stamina. So, just being a good sport, I'm like, fuck it, let her rap to the beat she had already wrote to. Like, you that know, was that dope. Beat. That was dope. Definitely, you know, might as well get the rounds off since we're all here. Yeah, like, I know the fans came for something. So, it was like, you know, it already dragged on long enough for other battles to get to. So, I just let her rap that shit, but like, there's no way that shit better go in the footage at all. It needs to be the original three beats because it's not even like the beat she picked or a beat I picked. That's the league's beat. Neither one of us running to write to that shit. You feel me? Like, so I don't know. That shit was crazy, but I did that for the fans. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Definitely. You definitely put on. You girls were crazy tonight. Yeah, and then like, I was really, I was, I was really. I'm surprised about the props because I already knew who sent her the pictures. Like it's that was left field. I, I'm, I told her myself I, I wasn't expecting that. It's no secret. Like I'm not a, a female battle rap favorite. Like none of these bitches are my friends. I'm fine with that. Like so I already knew what was coming, which is why I wore my real hair. Cause like, what are you bitches talking about? But anyways, like you know, I was just happy she tried to bring some shit. You know, she tried to make it through the battle. She died, but I'm still happy that she tried. You know what I'm saying? Like, she tried to do her thing, bring some little props. She tried to throw some little tricks up the sleeve. Like, shout out to you for being a conniving bitch per usual. But, you know, like, everything is cool. So, shout out Verbal Warzone for the look. Shout out the battle. Definitely. And do you feel like coming into this, because I, I asked Bonnie the same question. When it comes to new school versus old school, is it always going to be an animosity? Do you feel like all the vets are not open to it or some are receptive to it? Like what's No, the I think that the vets that are really worth battling, they understand competition. Like they're not threatened by the competition. They're not out here doing petty shit, trying to start real beef behind it and ruining venues. You know what I'm saying? The real vets is invite the competition. You know what I'm saying? So I can respect that. Um, so it's not an animosity. It's competition. Like I, we're not here to kumbaya or be friends. We are here to compete. Like right. I could have went to a support group if I wanted friends. I came to battle rap to battle. Like I don't get what bitches don't get. But and, like you know what I'm saying. And and speaking of friends in battle rap, I, I could have swore I saw an interview where official was talking about giving coffee brown a shot or having a Ooh, battle. Yeah, with that brown. would so be what, crazy. Would be yeah, fun. like you, you know what I'm saying. That's that what I'm right. saying. Some of the vets encourage the competition. They just telling you level up as a rookie. I can respect that, but like all the little extra shit with these bitches that struggling through rounds, can't even get that shit out, all the extra shit, I don't respect that. Like bitch, battle or or don't do nothing. Like you are the problem with female battle rap. It ain't got nothing to do with what nobody doing extracurricular activity. It's you bitches that can't respect competition and professionalism. This is a prime example of that. No professionalism, but I still let shit rock. You know what I'm saying? So. And this a lot of a, a lot of people didn't see and they wasn't there for Band Legacy too. 
Oh, that's you still and about Lady Flames, and yeah. I feel like, you know, like, you. you've been so quiet, we haven't got to talk about it until that shit drops. Yes. So, when, how did you We have to wait till it drops to really even to talk that. about that. I know, app gang, app gang, and um, we're still waiting for that. <laughs> Premium gang! <laughs> We still waiting for that to drop on Bad Legacy 2. Like, what's up, Black Market? Like, what's up, URL? Like, we were Battle of the Weekend. Why is this, like... Drop the files. I'm not gonna cry. Y'all already said the girls is too emotional. But drop our shit, man. We put on... Flames did her fucking thing. I ain't never had competition like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still very proud of my performance with that. I feel like my performance here at Verbal Warzone, my second time around, is a hundred times better than my first time around. I really used everything I learned from my Charisma battle. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm really proud with the way the battle turned out everything that i put out everything that i did that was for the fans i really hope y'all appreciate it shout out chosen verbal war zone boss chick rain everybody that has something to do with, you know what i'm saying and now is there anyone that you want to see next on um, verbal war zone well anyone you want to see who do you want to be with yeah um okay you need me on stage main event main event okay um I got Glue Easy August 25th. Talk about it like whole beach and then what? And then, and then you die. die. We, we main event. <laughs> Make sure y'all pop out. That's gonna be a crazy fucking battle. Cause Glue Easy is way out there and me, I'm just far the fuck out. So it's about to be fun. It's gonna be way It's gonna be really wild. Um, and then there's some other things in negotiations right now. But that's all that I have coming up. Alright. We'll talk about it. But tell Miss Fit, holla at me. Oh, alright, Miss Fit. Alright, we gonna tell her. Talk your shit, coffee. Yeah, talk your shit. Picture. Let's take a picture. Alright. This is Coffee Brown, 15 Minutes of Fame. You already know. Finesse and chill. Get the 15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame. Radio. Let's go.